But uh, the Eastern Cape MEC for Economic Development, Environmental Affairs and Tourism, Mlungi Simvoko, has launched a 40 million rand informal business support initiative to support a thousand informal businesses in the province. The funding will include manufacturing, clothing, leather and motor vehicle uh, production after market support sectors have not benefited in other forms of support that were previously made available. This is a once-off funding system made available due to the effects of COVID-19. The Eastern Cape continues to suffer economic hardships as a result of high unemployment figures, which are over 50%. Our SBC News colleague Abong Ileyankis takes up the story. Exciting times for businesses here in the Eastern Cape, particularly the small ones, the informal ones, where a sum of 14 million rand was set aside by the Department of Finance Economic Development to empower them. And the effects of COVID-19 have been really hit by them and they're really suffering now, especially in a province where there's slightly over 50% of unemployment. With me, I do have the MEC for Finance and Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs in the Eastern Cape, um, Mr. Mlungi Simvoko. A very good morning to you, MEC. Um, You've launched this program and um, 14 million rand to support at least a thousand businesses. Is that realistic in your view? Um, good morning and uh, it's not 14 million rand, it is 40 million, four zero. My it, might, it might not be enough that we understand, but we have to start somewhere. The rationale behind uh, this uh, is because of uh, a number of other informal businesses could not benefit from, from, from many other um, relief schemes. Uh, so we, we just thought, let us, let, us, let us do something and see how the reaction is going to be. Uh, yes, it's a once-off uh, provision, understanding uh, the pressures that we're having as a province financially. So it is true that it might not be realistic or should I say it might not be enough, but at least it's a start. You've, um, you've targeted the, the auto sector, the textile and clothing. Um, why those areas? Because these are the areas that uh, provide quite a lot of jobs uh, for in, in the informal businesses. Uh, if, you, if you look at the automotive, for instance, we're targeting the after support. There are guys that are working from, from, from in the townships, in their, in their own backyards, established informal businesses that does after support. And you'd find that there are many people that you would find working there. So we started by targeting those that uh, provide a number. Well, it's important that as we provide this support, it must also do some, uh, it must assist us in, the, in, in relieving unemployment. So that's the reason why we, we, we targeted manufacturing, the services sector and all of that. Um, rural areas, they often, sometimes, they would say they get forgotten by government. Yes, it's true. Not really forgotten, mm. but uh, it's true that uh, in, in many instances, uh, the, 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 the schemes or the programs that we have take a long time before can, they can reach rural areas. But on this one, we've, made it, uh, we made, we've emphasized the fact that ECDC have to target, must target the townships and rural areas. And one of the ways in which we could do that is uh, our collaboration with the municipalities. Because remember, uh, it's the municipalities that would know those informal businesses. That's why we use them to register uh, the informal business. That's why we're using their permits. So we have a specific focus on township and, uh, and rural areas through the local economic development offices of the municipalities, as well as using ECDC and, uh, yeah, and the district municipalities. How do you encourage those who have given up on support from government to come forward and up make applications for this funding? Uh, I know that they, uh, there are quite a number of people that have given up and they, they, the reasons are varying. Some uh, feel that uh, when there is government support it would go to, to people that actually do not need it or, and, 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 and those that really need it don't benefit. And I think I want to encourage them to, 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 to apply in this, in, this, uh, in this program. And one of the things that I think is going to assist us in ensuring that the money goes to where it's supposed to be is this collaboration with municipalities. I think 
if you have a, if the, the, when the local economic development officers of the municipality are assisting us, they would be able to identify the real people to, uh, to benefit. Yes, they might not all benefit from it, but we're looking also at a fair spread throughout the province in the six districts and the two metros. So with that assistance, I would encourage them to, to, do, to, to go and to apply, to go to the, we have trained LED officers of municipalities as well, so they don't depend on ECTC who has offices in the major towns. So I would want to encourage them to go to the municipalities, uh, submit applications. This also would assist us that if there could be some funds at, at, you know, at, uh, in the next financial year would know the magnitude uh, that is, you know, of, of, of the need uh, for assistance that is there in the province. Had it not been for the effects of COVID-19, I'm sure this money, these funds would have been more than 40 million rand, but it's just that government is redirecting its, um, its finances to the health department so that it can fight the spread of COVID-19. But how have been business in a general sense in the province been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic and what exactly were you doing? I know you do have a recovery plan. How is it going? Uh, look, it's, 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 we do have our funding instruments. Let me start there to say we've, we do have funding instruments. Uh, and I think uh, that we have not been using them uh, uh, you know, to, to, to the maximum as we, as we would want them to. Um, so COVID has actually shown us that we've got to do better because the funding is, there are so many funding instruments that we have uh, and quite a number of businesses have not been able to benefit from that. Yes, it's true that we, uh, COVID has put us under pressure. Uh, we've had to reprioritize funds from all, I mean, we had to identify a basket of services uh, that would use to reprioritize funds like uh, your travel and subsistence and travel, catering and all of those, reprioritize those funds in order to cater, uh, you know, to give funds to, to the Department of Health. And I think it, it teaches us now that uh, going forward, some of the things from COVID we could learn that there are things that we could do away with. Uh, or uh, not really put a lot of money on them and put money on the core uh, service delivery programs and projects. Um, the, the businesses have been affected usually, but I think uh, one of the uh, biggest challenges is that there has been, uh, we must admit that there has been a gap between us and the businesses. Uh, government can't do it alone. We need a collaboration with businesses. We, we, we're starting now to establish some uh, uh, forums and where we're going to sit with them and you know, get to understand some of the things where they need assistance and, 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 and partner with them. In the automotive sector now, we, we've just started a, a forum uh, together with all the OEMs and, 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 and government to understand even when we talk about transformation in the sector, how do we go about it? We will talk to the, the, the business chambers and all of that. So we need to get closer to, um, uh, to business. Uh, we, can't, we can't do these things being far from, we must close the gap first. And then after closing the gap, we'll then be able to identify the things that we need to do. Let's hold it there for now, MEC, and all the best with this project. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Well, that was the MEC for Finance, Economic Development, Tourism, and Environmental Affairs here in the Eastern Cape, saying that um, this, pro this, this support program will go a long way in assisting these small informal businesses. Well, the, the applications start from today up until the end of September. Back to you in studio.